Hey folks, how you doing? This is Mahesh. And today I got this no-name Chinese telescope to check out. This cost me around $325 here in Sri Lanka. So let's check it out. So this is a reflector telescope with a 150mm 6-inch aperture and a focal length of 750mm. Think of it this way. Short focal length is great for imaging galaxies and other deep sky objects while long focal lengths have the highest magnifications, so are best for looking at plants. This also comes with a 2x Barlow lens, which essentially doubles the focal length for even higher magnifications. More on this later. So this is everything in the box. This is the optical tube. Say so here focal length is 750 and diameter is 150. This is the equatorial mount. It's big, black and heavy. Polar axis screw. This is where the main mirror is located inside. These metal straps for mounting the telescope onto the tripod. The manual is actually pretty good considering this is a no-name brand Chinese scope. These are the brackets for the accessories tray. These are the flexible cable controllers for right ascension and declination. With these, you can make tiny adjustments to the position of the telescope when tracking faraway objects. This is the metal shaft that holds the counterweight. Various nuts and bolts. A bracket for the metal straps. This is the sighting scope. It is easier to first locate your target through this. You have to align this perfectly with the telescope. This is the counterweight. Weighs 2.7 kilos. This is the accessory tray, and on it we have this. It's a 2x Barlow lens, which doubles the focal length of the telescope for even closer look at plants. They provide two eyepieces, 6.5mm and 25mm. Also comes with a moon filter and sun filter. This is the focusing tube. Comes with an eyepiece adapter. You remove the plastic cap here and stick in the eyepiece. Alright, so let's set it up. First you need to assemble the tripod. Extend the legs to your desired level and screw in these butterfly nuts. Do not tighten them too much. Make sure everything's to the same level. Now open up this bracket and attach the accessory tray to it. Now with these screws, fix the brackets to the tripod legs. Make sure it's the right way up. Use a small spanner to tighten the bolt. Now take out the equatorial mount and loosen the screws. And adjust the right ascension and polar axis so the mount looks the same as in this diagram here. And then tighten everything. 
Now let's attach the mount to the tripod using these long butterfly nuts. Make sure to remove the butterfly caps and all these screws beforehand. This will make things much easier. When all three sides are fixed, use a spanner like this to tighten the nuts. Make sure to consult the manual at every stage. Now take this polar axis screw and attach it here. This helps to make slight latitude adjustments to the mount. Now take these flexible cables and connect them to the right ascension and declination attachments here and here. Now you can use these fine tuning even when the screws are tight. Now take this metal rod and attach it to the counterweight. Screw it in tight at the bottom position. You can change it around later. Now take this whole thing and screw it in here, tight as possible. Now take this bracket and attach it here. Tighten the nuts using the provided hex key. Now attach the two metal straps to the bracket and tighten them. Now open the straps and place the optical tube inside. And tighten the clamps. Now remove the plastic cap on the focusing tube. Take the lowest powered eyepiece and stick it in and tighten the screw. Now attach the sighting scope here. Now that everything is attached, we can balance the scope. Loosen the right ascension screw and move the scope like this. Here when it stops moving, the telescope stays still. This means the counterweight is in the perfect position. Now keep it on the side like this and loosen the declination screw. And turn the telescope like this. When I let go of the tube, it stays still, means it's perfectly balanced. 
Now if it keeps moving, just loosen the straps here and move the tube side to side to balance it out. Now let's have a look inside. Down there at the end is the main mirror. It's 150mm in diameter. The light gets focused onto the secondary mirror here and comes out the eyepiece here. That entire distance is called the focal length. Now we need to align the sighting scope with the telescope's eyepiece. I have the 25mm eyepiece attached here, the lowest powered eyepiece. Now look at some distant object like a tree or a tower. I use the focusing knobs to bring it into sharp focus. Do not look at the sun. Now look through the sighting scope. If the focus is off, you can turn the eyepiece here to bring it into sharp focus. If the object is not directly in this crosshair, you can make slight adjustments by playing with these four screws. When the object is dead center, your telescope is aligned. Repeat this procedure with the highest powered eyepiece and you're done. Now you're ready for some stargazing. All I needed to assemble this were just these tools here. Now I just need some clear skies. I'll make another video on how to polar align this thing and start tracking objects later. Thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe.